Hello and welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe in our last week of shows. Oh my gosh. I am Jeff Kanata. Ashley Esqueda is out today. And we're, this is our last week. So the 18th is our last show. We got a fun week of, uh, we got, we got a fun week of stories coming at you, starting with today's headlines. Last week we told you about a robot that could give you a tattoo. This week we're telling you about a tattoo that can give you a robot. MIT and Microsoft revealed Duo Skin this past weekend, a gold leaf temporary tattoo that wearers can interact with. The circuits can be designed in standard image designing software and then printed directly to cheap temporary tattoo paper. The video shows off four ways to use them as touch sensitive input for tapping and sliding that controls an object on a nearby display, a thermochromic tattoo that changes color and design if the wearer's body temperature rises, a wireless communication device that can be paired with tech like NFC, and a purely aesthetic tattoo jewelry necklace with light up LEDs embedded within. The designs are beautiful, but they're also inexpensive, and a 3 by 4 centimeter NFC tattoo costs less than $3. I think this is idea of wearable technology is, uh, is pretty cool. I mean, we already have watches and headphones and stuff. Why not tattoos, right? Why not? We've been watching HoloLens's development with a lot of anticipation, and this is a very cool new app. The team behind N3S, an NES emulator that adds 3D visuals to 2D games, has a fun new toy to play with in HoloLens. They released a video recently showing off their work with the augmented reality headset, and it's an alpha build of an NES game showcase with Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong, Tetris, and more running on the headset. It incorporates elements of N3S with sprites getting a 3D modification, so when you tilt your head, the game seems more than just a flat render. But according to the team, it's not an easy job. In its video description, the team says, quote, HoloLens won't run most games at full speed, unquote. And the alpha build was hand-tuned and optimized to work for HoloLens in such a way that many games wouldn't be eligible for this type of conversion. I'm ready for all of my retro games to be brought into the future. Give me VR. Give me uh, AR. I want them. I want them in the real world interacting with me. There's no reason why we have to leave all of our 8-bit sprites behind. Just bring them into the future with us. Speaking of bringing us into the future, let's hit up your photographer of the day. Today's photographer of the day is Jeff, who took this picture on his iPhone 6 Plus. Jeff writes, Dear TD, here is an entry for your photographer of the day segment. It's a fjord and a glacier at Axel Heiberg Island in the Canadian Arctic taken from a twin otter bush plane with my iPhone 6 Plus. It's composed of two photos that were auto-stitched together by the Google Photos Assistant feature. I am a geologist, and I was in the Arctic for some research related to Mars. My job was to fly a Phantom 4 drone over our field sites to map them. Sorry to hear that when I got back, your show is ending. I will miss it. And of course, you have permission to use this photo on your show. Jeff Mersch, pronounced Mersch professor of planetary science at the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences at the University of Tennessee. Super cool. I want to know what this has to do with Mars. And I'm sure that you can't tell us, Jeff, but uh, that's, a, that's a beautiful photo. All this week, we are talking about the most beautiful photos that you have ever taken, your, your proudest photo. And uh, we have still a few more episodes. So get those photographies in. You can send them to tomorrow at CNET.com. Be sure to tell us how to pronounce your name, give us permission to use the photo on the show, tell us what device you took it on, and we love little stories about why you think that is the best photo you've ever taken. We will be back tomorrow. Ashley will be back with me talking about more stories, heading into our final episode on Thursday. So come back then. Until those days, be good humans. Oh.